There's a certain something about staying up past your bedtime, curled up with a blanket and some popcorn, watching movies in the dark. Chances are, if you were in Columbus between 1974 and 1991, it was bespectacled local TV legend Fritz the Night Owl that helped you stay up late. Greetings, good groovers, Earth people, 14 viewers out there in the darkness, your voice of the night, Fritz the Night Owl, this just in. Batman has to go to the Batcave, Superman needs a phone booth, all I gotta do is take the glasses out and put them on. Seven nights a week on WBNS 10 TV, Fritz came into your living room with his own particular brand of commentary. It's one of those, uh, don't open the doors, don't go down the basement, don't go upstairs, don't go out on the street, don't go behind the trees. They showed all of kinds of movies, out. but Friday nights seemed to be particularly memorable to most viewers. The chiller was probably what I was known for best because that's when a kid like in fifth or sixth grade is, on a Friday night, his parents would let him stay up late and that was kind of like a moment in their lives. But I didn't realize it at the time until 20 years later when people would tell me, oh wow, I remember the first time I got to stay up till on a Friday night till midnight and I could stay up till three or four in the morning and you would scare me. Touch not that dial, I still control your set. With a career in broadcasting for over 50 years and a collection of Emmys spanning his mantle, many of Fritz's childhood dreams have come true. Though he didn't become a jazz musician, he hosted the beloved radio program Night Owl Jazz for 19 years. And he didn't become a big movie star, but he played himself in a movie every single night in Columbus. Fritz was the first late night movie host to use special effects. That Night Owl Theater ended on WBNS in 1991, and his longtime radio show was canceled in 2010. But Fritz is still at it. A new incarnation of Night Owl Theater, in collaboration with longtime fan Mike McGrainer, puts Fritz back to work, even though he really doesn't consider it work. In all of my life, I really don't consider anything I've done work. The owl. I just joke. Uh, Even my army career was not work because I was stationed in New York City. I was writing, directing, narrating, acting in movies for the uh, army. I put more GIs to sleep probably than any guy playing taps. I was an usher in a movie theater, so I got paid to stand in the aisle and watch movies. As a DJ, I got to play the music I wanted to play and just sit in a nice air-conditioned studio for three, four hours a day, listen to good sounds. So I really can't, uh, I really can't think of any job that I had that I considered work. Fans new and old still come out to see the late night King of Cool do his thing, now on the big screen at Studio 35. As long as there is an audience for it, he has no plans in stopping. Whatever I did, I did because that's what I wanted to do. And if you just happen to like it or find it enjoyable, terrific. And if you told me about it or paid me for it, even better. But the thing is, I never did anything because somebody expected it or wanted me to do it or I was forced to do it. Everything was, like I say, whether it's the painter working with color or the guy working with so the musician working with sound or his instrument it was I had this canvas that was audio video movies and that I had to blend into something that was a unique creation and that I think was uh, very gratifying. Another subtle unobtrusive entrance by your voice of the night Fritz the Night Owl. A rich boy in white stuff. This is Ashley Brooke, staying up late and reporting for Art Scene. Hey, we gotta keep meeting like this. Same time, same owl desk.